Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Today we have a fascinating interview uh, taking place. This one's a little bit different than my usual interviews uh, for reasons that will shortly become obvious. An amazing article came out in the Times of Israel by Simona Weinglass a couple of years ago called The Wolves of Wall Street, talking about the predatory binary and forex scam industry existing in Israel, bringing great, great shame upon the country's name internationally. Um, it turns out that quite a number of people, especially immigrants, were employed in operating these companies from Israel, typically domiciled in a different country with lax regulation and basically defrauding people around the world as a form of making money. This is obviously very, very bad. Israel has attempted to curtail the industry, apparently, but not 100%. There are still a lot of victims out there. And we've been lucky enough to get in touch with one of those victims uh, today based in Paris, France. So firstly, um, Jean Bon, I believe, is your name. Could you tell me, uh, tell us a little bit about who you are and uh, what, this, uh, what this brokerage is? Yeah, I'm uh, Jean Bon from Paris, but this is not my real name. In fact, uh, I'm uh, one of the anonymous pig. That is to say, we are all uh, victims from uh, this kind of scammers. They approach you uh, through uh, one of your relative or someone you know, which is also a victim. They manipulating to uh, give you trust on them, and you give the, and you by giving them all the name, and it comes from uh, somebody you know, and uh, you you have trust in it, and they use this trust to. So j j just for the clarity of this conversation, because for uh, for these reasons, Jean Bon, who's uh, bravely agreeing to tell a story, is going to be his uh, face is going to be obscured, voice changed slightly, and also just for the uh, to protect, I guess ourselves. Basically, we're not going to be referring to the real uh, fraud brokerage by name. We're going to just be referring to broker x throughout this conversation so broker x is the organization that scammed uh jean bon and his father so jean bon how did your father get involved in investing with broker x one of his relatives uh speak about uh broker x and he have really uh, he was starting he was uh, profitable he was working he, he has made some uh, withdraw which has uh, no problem so they are really really uh, make everything to make you think you are having a real account but in in truth i've tracked uh, the crypto money uh, transaction and this does never go to uh, a trading account and then uh, when we uh, want to uh, take out our profit, which in fact was a loss because all your deposits are lost. This is something you really have to know. Um, then uh, it's kicking, we're going into trouble and uh, they uh, try to threaten you. Say we will send you our lawyers, our advocates, you will lose your money, well, so and so and so. Some of these victims, you have really to behave where possible. And a lot of people are really uh, on shame, so they don't want to say they have been uh, scammed. And uh, especially when it comes to, because you send maybe some other people, friends or relatives or somebody else from your family. So this is really, a lot of people doesn't want to speak uh, for this. And uh, also authority. Uh, local authorities, uh, they investigate a bit. A few of them go to jail, but very, very few. Most of the time, uh, it just stop at uh, the border of your country and they don't investigate. Right. So what, one of the very interesting things that was came out in Simona's coverage is the fact that these companies, many of whom are based in Israel, I'm sure there's lots of companies not based in Israel, but they typically have their registered office in Cyprus, Malta. Broker X, I believe, is based on somewhere like some obscure island. And so you've got a lot of very complicated factors. The company's not where it says it is. The victim's in a third country. And trying to prosecute this has been very difficult. 
In fact, it was, I think, the first prosecutions for this scam actually came from the FBI in the US, which is, again, as someone based in Israel, I have to say, really, really shameful that it took a foreign law enforcement uh, agency to bring really the first uh, prosecutions of this type of activity. So for those who don't know about this world of trading, you know, Forex, binary, Jean Bon, can you explain what it was exactly that this is? Is it like the stock market or what crypto, what kind of, um, what kind of trades were you, were, were you doing here? Uh, they are using, uh, when I was starting, when we started, they were using uh, MetaTrader, which is one of the most common application and also is a place uh, when you can trust it because uh, it's a, a third part which is known from years so they're really using everything to manipulate you and you make a profit you see the profit uh, you have done you you send the deposit your account on the metatrader is credited but in fact uh, it's a fake account so you don't realize you are you are scammed they expect you they uh, tell you, uh, they ask you to have a C on your uh, computer, on your phone, to install all the app to uh, starting the trade. So basically what you're saying is, you know, in the case of this guy, now I'm sure the different Forex brokerage houses have different tactics, right? You're saying it sounds to me like basically you put real money deposited into this company, but it was it was all a, it was all of I mean it went in that your money went in but it went into a black hole. They then showed you fake data that made it look as if you were making money on the trades, right? But uh, it was all just basically a fiction, and your money disappeared, and you never got back anything that you uh, that you supposedly made. Whether it was a if you actually did make a profit. To be more clear, more clear, it's uh, pretty simple. It's like uh, when you do an other uh, broker, real broker, uh, you have a demo account. What what you have by then, in fact, is somewhere a demo account. So when you make the bank transfer, they credit it to uh, your demo account. So you see the bank transfer, you you make the operation they help you to put a buy sales and uh, they say okay we should do uh, on this or on this uh, uh you go on facebook you go on uh, whatever uh, you have everything is open uh, with metatrader you can trade on uh, commodities on uh, stock option on uh, crypto money cryptocurrency sorry so everything is uh is open and they say you okay go on this uh, sell uh, take a purchase take a buy on uh, this part take a sell on this and uh, you see uh, your profit are growing and when uh, you to give you confidence also uh, when you want to take money back the first uh, withdraw are possible with uh, 1000 euro or they do a small uh, feedback to really make you believe that you can take it back. But uh, the money, the crypto money, I, I traced it, uh, never go uh, to, to their account because it's not uh, this account is in euro and in dollar. It should be through an exchange and you can definitely see it. It does not go to an exchange. So it's on the broker X uh, part. So you're saying that when when you finally make some profit through this platform, they allow you to withdraw the first amount, nominal amount, to give you confidence that it's working. But then you try to withdraw further amounts, and it just doesn't doesn't reach you. It is a bit meanest than this. When you start for the you you start, it's working. You you have some profit, so you are happy. They call you uh, weekly, and everything is going good. They are very nice to you, whatever. Then they say, okay, uh, if you invest uh, more, we will uh, borrow you. Uh, we will borrow you uh, ten thousand euro, twenty five thousand euro, and uh, you give this back uh, this money within one month. And I will help to do the right things to uh, make uh, this money even more profi- profitable. So you and you will pay back in uh, one month. They make kind of a contract like this. This is, and to because uh, you have to pay it back to give you confidence and say, okay, take a, a refund, uh, take a, do a withdrawal of uh, one or two thousand euro. Try to hack your mind, in fact. 
who put you in a condition uh, to be uh, scammed further and further. And then, uh, once everything going bad, after, when they, have, uh, they think they have enough money, or they cannot do more, they put your account in, uh, they give you either bad advice, or they can manipulate also your account. It's not a problem. It's a fake anyway account, so you can do whatever you want. The stock price are, 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 are real, options are real, but it's, uh, you are trading a demo account, in fact. So how, how did you figure out that this um, broker X operation was based in Israel? Because they all, all these operations try to hide their actual country, right? So how did you figure that out and come across uh, this Wolves, Wolves of Wall Street coverage? So uh, when I realized this was a scam, I, was, uh, I have uh, looked a bit uh, further on the internet. So I have some abilities in uh, hacking and uh, OSINT. So this does help, of course, but not that much because uh, I was scammed <laughs> because of the trust. So I, this helped me too late, but it helped me. And also I find some uh, association. We are pr protecting uh, peoples and customers uh, who go also give me this information. Uh, we know this company. Uh, we know also a national agency, we report them as a fraudulent company with a blacklist. So for example, a broker X is blacklisted in the AMF from France and from Canada, but also not allowed in many other, uh, in Luxembourg, Switzerland, and other countries like this, which are working uh, the other way in white list. So maybe one advice also, uh, when you have one of those kind of uh, broker, have a look to the white list of the different country or the black list. This, key, this can give you hint or who you should not work with. So I, I mean, I, I try to find the, the Israel connection and fail. So how, how did you manage? I'm very curious about, because you mentioned, you know, uh, OSIN. So what exactly did you do that was able to, to, to find the site? First, uh, with using uh, advanced knowledge of uh, the research, uh, the search engine, and you have a lot of techniques to uh, people have developed. Uh, initially, it have been developed by FBI. <laughs> so uh, I know it's getting more and more common, uh, and a lot of things have been uh, disclosed. And if you know a bit of the code, then you can, yeah, it's, it's a bit of work, but you can, be a, you can get a valuable information on the web. Also, uh, by the association, which have a treat and uh, which have uh, worked on files from other victims. Uh, I'm discussing in, uh, with victims worldwide because you have uh, and many different, uh, they really play on the, fa on the fact you are alone. And it's easy to fool somebody alone, but if you have a group, maybe I will understand a part, another person will understand another part, and uh, crossing this information, we can fight against this. And also, uh, a very good uh, source of information is a uh, forex scam uh, refund. You have a lot of uh, refund company that uh, some are real and uh, I'm not saying they are all bad, but some are fake and uh, are really from, I think it's the same uh, teams or friends, and they just try to scam you a second time to say we will refund you. And to give you confidence, they give you information. And crossing this information helped me. That's the way uh, I arrived to. Uh, I, I end up to uh, Tel Aviv. Wow! So you're saying there's not only an industry of you know which is known of these uh, fraudulent forex binary companies. There's actually an additional industry of companies that pose as you know the good guys, right, to get your money back. And uh, they're operated by the same people and they're working uh, hand in hand effectively. I'm not saying uh, they are operating by the same people. I have no proof of this. But uh, there is an industry doing this and having uh, information about them because they give me some. So, I mean, it's a, it's a crazy world of smoke and daggers that, I mean, this is my impression. I've never, uh, never done this myself, but it sounds like you're always wondering who's a friend who's a foe, what's real, what's fake. Um, one thing I'm interested about is how you found this. First, well, I have two questions, Jean Bon. Um, one is, when did this happen? Because 
you know, I think this Wolves of, of Tel Aviv article came out a couple of years ago. And as I mentioned, I know there was some effort here to regulate this. Um, I'm just curious, was are we talking years, months? When, when were you uh, defrauded? Me, it was uh, this year, but uh, a victim... Uh... Yeah, the last one I had, for example, uh, it was uh, I stopped uh, a bank transfer uh, yesterday, and uh, some uh, one year ago, some two years ago. It's really all the time. Believe me, I have seen from the tracing of the money uh, of the cryptocurrency tracing, you have victim every day, every single day. This is something we really uh, need to do something about. If you're not alone, and if we are not now, we will be a legion because uh, the anonymous speak, it's in fact all the victim. By standing up together, by communicating on these uh, issues and uh, make it uh, notorious, we will uh, reduce them and we maybe give a chance to for them to stop so i mean it, it it sounds like this activity is very much ongoing that you know these attempts to uh to to bring this to a halt have either not worked at all or they've certainly not worked completely and this basically one i just add one thing is uh something being me being based in israel i've seen as well right there was this law that supposedly these forex and binary are being shut down there is these job boards like you have i'm sure in france and you still see occasionally not as maybe not as many as there were but job listings so this is an industry that is unfortunately as uh, jean bon is saying still active still defrauding people um i'm curious for the the victims how are you guys finding each other we have a good uh, good thing is a social network and uh, if you start, uh, that was also uh, one part of my strategy and uh, the strategy of the Innocent Pig, because we have built it uh, together, uh, is to start uh, a name and shame strategy to make it uh, notorious. And our vector communication was humor, but also by uh, sending uh, content to the web, we attract people, people look at it, and uh, people dare to go back to us saying, okay, I'm also a victim. I won't be uh, one of the innocent pig. This is the way we are growing. Yeah. Unfortunately, we are growing too big, too fast. Why wow. countries are you seeing most of these victims coming from? Obviously, you're based in France. Are you, you know, are, are there people based in, is it Europe, the US? Where, where, where would you say are most of the victims you've met? so far located the brokerage is, is uh, I, i'm on the french department of uh, broker x so all uh, french speaking uh, country are our concern canada luxembourg uh, switzerland belgium yeah if you speak french i'm just curious as well in your conversations with broker x i presume you spoke on the phone a number of times um did the people tell you where they were based uh, they say they are abroad, but uh, <laughs> not where they are really based. <laughs> they were supposed to be in uh, Luxembourg. So they 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 pick they pick a credible country to explain the French speaking, basically. Yeah, to explain the French speaking, they call you with a IP phone uh, with a phone number from Luxembourg. A couple more questions. So why, as I meant, as we said at the start, the Jean Bon is obviously an alias, which is which is very, uh, very clever, if, if I may say so myself. Um, are there any victims who have been prepared to actually go public with their real identity um, that you know of or, or not yet? Jean Bon uh, has no identity because Jean Bon is one of the victims and we have victims every day. Jean Bon is a legion of victims uh, standing up against uh, the people who want to uh, fool them. So that's why Jean Bon has no name. Because each uh, anonymous speak as a name, as an history, as a family, cause a lot more, much more trouble than just uh, the money you have lost. Jean Bon will uh, never stop because he is everyone and no one. And that's his uh, massive strength. It's a team, in fact, behind. Because investigation, I spent months investigating alone, trying to build a network. And when a strategy was okay, was ready, we start to go out of the woods. Do you think, Jean Bon, with this family that you're building, this network, 
Um, do you think you're going to be able to get these guys to stop scamming people? To be honest, no. But I will make their life more difficult. And maybe if I have, uh, I can prevent one victim to be scammed, I will be happy. And I think, I think as well, I mean, the reason that I was really interested in doing this interview, to be honest, was, you know, I haven't been scammed, but from my perspective, the more knowledge that's out there about, you know, their techniques, right? Their tradecraft, so to speak, the better for potential victims. So if you were telling someone, you know, who hadn't traded crypto or binary or Forex online or whatever it may be, what would be your tips as to red flags to watch out for that you may be dealing with a scam operator? First, uh, look on the web. You have a lot of things. So all the websites who are really uh, famous for this are listed. So this is first option. Second, look to the website of the governmental agency. We give you blacklist or white list, depending on the country. Have a look to this because uh, Forex uh, scam reported. Uh, yeah, it's a pity to go over there. And uh, the third one, because one website is start is a certain lapse of, uh, amount of time. And when there is uh, too much red flag on this one, they close it and they open another one. Uh, so what I would give you as advice, uh, it's a simple tip. You go to the internet and make a with request on the domain. Everything that is uh, less than three years, be really, really, really careful. If the website exists that more than five years with the same name, and you find uh, no trace on the web that uh, it's really a scam, maybe you can consider to think this is something possible. So if I can stop you there, John Bon, for one sec. So obviously, you know, anyone who owns a website knows that you can pay like $10 to anonymize the who is data, right? So for sure, it's not going to say, you know, oh, here's the scammer. They're based in this country. But what John Bon is saying is you're looking for young domains that I, I presume you're the uh, OSINT expert here that you can find out approximately when a domain, maybe DNS changes, there's records. So you, basically these guys are on the move. So as soon as one reputation is tarnished, and by the way, I want to I want to add one thing because I'm also quite interested in this world. I did a bit of freelance writing back in the day. Um, I'm not really doing that so much anymore, but I came across this sort of attached industry called ORM. It stands for Online Reputation Management. And this was when I just moved to Israel and I was like, you know, quite naive. And I was like, what is this? So basically what it does, these ORM companies create fake news in order to, if there's, you know, reports about sort of this company being a scam, they'll put up articles about this being legitimate to rank higher in Google. So again, I, I come back to this cloak and daggers analogy. There is misinformation being propagated they're making new identities as one online identity becomes too problematic. So one, one way, Jean Bon, and that, that's an amazing tip, is to look up the who is, whatever you can do to see, is this new domain? What, what, what else would you uh, recommend? Maybe uh, to make it more clear, you go on the website with uh, who is, please. most of the time the name with who is, and you, you have the date where the domain, the domain name, has been uh, published. So it's, every, it's free to have this information. It takes five seconds. If you have a navigator, you can find it. So this is really uh, very simple, easy. Everybody can do it. You don't need to be a computer expert or whatever. For me, this is uh, the first thing to discover or make me think about it before uh, giving. And second part is uh, never invest uh, more money than you can afford to lose. That's also a tip uh, because I've seen some victim with a really huge, huge amount of money. People uh, losing their house or life consequence for people is uh, really dramatic sometimes. Because it makes you believe uh, you have earned some money and in fact uh, you have lost it. You can have an account with uh, 200, 300,000 of dollars and uh, in fact uh, it's uh, zero. But this guy uh, has lost uh, more than $1,000.
So you really, really have to be careful on trade. You should not uh, spend big money on this one, whatever it is, and take your profit uh, as soon as you have made it. Take your profit back. Right, because and that's that's I think another really interesting tactic you mentioned is uh, this trust building tactic of a first real deposit. Right, that you know the company if they're scamming this guy for one million, they can easily afford to pay you uh, a real deposit of one thousand for you to say, hey, this is great, I'm making money. Then you put in ten thousand, and then obviously at some point they decide, well, we're just going to keep this money now, and uh, that's it, goodbye. So, uh, Jean Bon, I want to thank you for sharing all this information. Um, I think it's going to help a lot of uh, people, hopefully, both those who are curious about the operation of this, um, and those you know who are going to be disappointed like me to learn that this is still going on. Uh, anything else you want to add before we wrap up? Uh, please uh, contact us. Uh, on our social network to everybody we want to act we we say to all the victims you are not alone don't be on shame the shame should be put on uh, the fraud the, the scammers we are not agree with this and we think this should stop could join us be anonymous speak to help other victim to speak about it to spread the message everywhere uh, to make a life of a forex scam harder if we are, if there is no victim, there is no forex uh, fraud anymore. Step by step, we will uh, probably uh, make their life uh, more difficult. Uh, I don't want to be too ambitious, but uh, yeah, I think uh, this is the first time uh, the victim uh, react. This is a message I want to send them. And uh, when you are not one, but you are not of people, you have networks, you can do some things and uh, name and shame. Okay. Thank you, Jean Bon.